Okay, well, I finally got my uh, pyrolytic graphite in the mail that is the stuff that levitates off of a permanent magnet array if you get the array just right. And this is where I started with the pencil lead. And if you go back in my videos, you'll see where I've been going with this thing. And laser saber is the one that's turned me on to this to try to make a uh, friction-free bearing based on that so that on these uh, real low-powered uh, motors, we could get rid of the friction and wear on a bearing. And I'm up there. Uh, this is just a, a needle bearing, uh, um, needle motor. Uh, I'm giving it some effect from this pyrolytic graphite here as a force upward. And if you adjust this just right, you get a, a very interesting uh, motor array. But uh, the idea was to make something and then put it in a jar like this and uh, get rid of the air friction. Uh, air influence, not the air friction, but the air influence using one of these pyrolytic graphite uh, chips. Um, I don't know, there's not much force here on my setup. You have to elevate it uh, with another magnet and you have to get it just right, otherwise it slams up or it goes down. So it's real critical. And this array here is not real stable. The one that the laser saber has, which is using ring magnets, is much better. But let me show you how this stuff uh, works. Take this off. This is one of the little chips that came with the kit. And you can see it floats around. And it's being repelled by that array of, of magnets. Um, and um, if you get it just right, I think with some sort of a suspension, you could make that bearing. But while I was waiting, I, I took a look at this method also. And this is a really old method of a partial levitation. And one of my commenters gave me a link to a video of a guy that's working on this. And uh, he's using just all ring magnets. But what I've got there is one ring magnet and two permanent magnets. And it's partially, it's really levitated, but it's stabilized with the uh, center shaft. So you've got a bearing point in the middle of the rotor, but the load bearing is taken up with the magnets. Yeah, let me show you what's going on here. You can see it. Um, this is a real, real old way of doing this. And um, I have just never seen it done with ring magnets. And he's using all ring magnets. And I've just got the one here. But um, that bearing right there, if you use the correct kind of surface area like brass to steel or graphite to steel you can get rid of a lot of the, the wear and uh, that's what I'm having troubles with is the uh, the wear on the bearing is such that they end up stopping my motor stop because the friction increases 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 until they finally stop over the course of many months and I'm just wondering if maybe this is my better way to go with these long running motors is go to a partial levitation like this and then use a sloppy bearing in the middle that um, is uh, not taking up the load all it is is stabilizing the rotor um, and maybe go that direction but anyway I just wanted to show you that I did get this pyrolytic graphite and it does elevate uh, levitate just like a just like it's advertised, comes with a lot of these little chips. Just go to eBay and look around for pyrolytic graphite and you'll find this stuff. Thanks for watching.